Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Uh, today I have a 12 by 16 uh, gallery wrap canvas. I've put the uh, Artist Law Flow Acrylic White on the corners and just around the edges. And to that um, white, I've added a little bit of the Amsterdam Pearl Green. So today I'm just gonna do, um, I'm calling it Flip and Drag Friday. Haven't done a flip and drag in a while. I'm gonna use three cups and I've already put paint in two of my cups. And I'll go over my paints now. Uh, my first paint is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. My next paint is the Artist Loft Metallic Blue. Uh, my next paint is Amsterdam Nickel Titan Yellow very pretty light yellow color. My next color is a combination of Artist Loft Metallic Black and Liquitex Basics Turquoise Blue. I added those about 50-50 and it gave me this very nice dark blue color. My next color is a combination of Handmade Modern Acrylic Paints, Light Copper, and New Penny. And these you can purchase at Target. My next color is the Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. Next is Artist Loft Green Yellow. Very bright. And my last color is Amsterdam grayish blue and I'm not sure that um, I've told you this trick or not I think in a past video I did but when you're running low on your tube paints uh, it's a good idea to, to cut them in half like I've cut this in half and I've actually dug the paint out and you'd be surprised how much paint you can get out if you do that instead of just throwing your tube away I usually get about a half an ounce so um, every little bit helps when you're buying your paints and so you want to get them all out of that tube. My pouring medium today, two parts Floetrol, one part Liquitex Gloss Medium Varnish, uh, one part paint, and a squirt of GAC 800. I had to thin a few of my paints with my combination of 90% water, 10% Floetrol, and I did not add any silicone today. So I thought I'd leave my last cup here where you could watch me fill that cup up. And I'm just gonna get my paints out of the way so I have more working room here. So I'm just gonna start out with the white. And I'm pouring it down the side, all my paints down the side today. And in no particular order. Matter of fact, this cup will have a different order than the other two cups. Here's that very light yellowish green. Here's the grayish blue. Very pretty colors metallic leaf green and that penny color in the copper the light copper there's the dark blue that I mixed up with the metallic black, which is a new paint for me. I just got that metallic black. A little bit of the yellow. Metallic blue. And I'm going to finish this up, this copper, because I really like this color. This was actually a leftover paint from my last video. And 
and the copper on that painting came through very nice. And the last one, the metallic cobalt blue. And I will top it off with the white. Okay, this cup is much fuller than the other two, but I'm going to go with it. That one will be my middle cup. So I'm just going to flip them over now. I'm going to have plenty of paint. And I'm just going to let them sit there a minute. I like, I like doing easy things on Friday. As I've mentioned in some of my past videos. While I wait, I might as well just add a little more of this white along the edges here just to help the paint flow that is the reason might as well use this up today i just wanted to use metallics a lot of metallics Depending on how this looks, I might lip, lip the cups also. Lipping it just means that you're going to drag the cup a little bit through the paint after you've put it on the canvas. And I want to give a shout out to Karen of Waterfall Acrylics. That's where I learned about the lip technique, flip, drag, and lip. So I want to give her some credit for that. I've learned a lot from Karen. Okay, I used that all up. So let's just do the drag now. And you can use your extra paint you have in the bottom of your cup for your edges. Or in between. Glad to see some of that copper coming up there. And this I am going to lip a little bit because it when I flipped and dragged it I didn't get it exactly how I wanted it to go. And I may even lift this one a little bit. You don't want to put your cup all the way down to the bottom. You just want to just graze that top. And this one also, I'll do it. Okay. And I will give just a quick torch here. Again, I didn't add any silicone, but it looks like the flow trowel will give me a few cells here. And I am going to just lip this one a little bit more. Give it a little more design in there before I start tipping. And also this one. Okay. And I'll just start tipping now. Get over that corner and come back. Get over that edge and that corner and come back. 
Like I said, I have a lot of paint on here. It's very thick. And now down to this, this, this edge here, my, the far edge. Bring it back a little bit. And bring it down this way a little bit. And over that corner. And then bring it back. And bring it down. I'm going to just take a look at it here a minute. Check my corners. going to do a little bit more tipping here. Bring it back. I'm going to turn it this way now. Take another look. I think I will take my skewer and I'm just going to run it very lightly up in this area. See if I can make a little bit more for the eye to see there. And I'm going to go this way. Bring it through a few of those little cells there. And the same here. And I'm going to um, torch again. See what I bring up. Just looking at the composition now of this. And I will clean off the bottom as I do that. I do think I see something in here. I'll take that out. I 
think I'm just going to do a little bit more tipping this way. Clean off the bottom over here now. Okay, and I think I will get you down for a close up. And I'll tell you the parts I do like. Again, this is a 12 by 16 gallery wrapped canvas. And I'm just gonna fix this corner a little bit better. And this is a flip and drag and lip as I did I did lip it lip the cup through the paint at the end there before I did my tipping so here is the upper left hand corner you can see where that copper came through very pretty there and in here this is where most of the copper the copper cells came up couple of big copper cells there and here the lower left hand corner and let me take you up the middle now I really like this light light yellowish green color here and this is where I ran that skewer through those few uh, copper cells I like the lines in here very nice and there's a lot of that copper in there. Very pretty up in here. This is probably one of my favorite spots of the painting is right in here. You can see the copper cells, how they came up and they're all lined up like that. And this is the upper right hand corner here. A lot of blues going on. Again, very pretty copper in here. and the lower right hand corner so let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you like this video share it subscribe if you haven't make sure that you hit the bell and choose all that way you'll know every time I post a new video and until next time take care everybody bye for now